In many applications, we have to organize numbers into a two-dimensional array, or matrix. But how do we create a matrix in MATLAB? Remember that we used commas to create row vectors and semicolons to make column vectors. Since matrices contain both rows and columns, we'll borrow a little from each method. Let's try creating a small matrix, M. We begin a matrix definition with a left square bracket. Just like a row vector, we separate elements in the first row of a matrix with commas. When we reach the end of the row, use a semicolon to move on to the next row of numbers. We repeat the process until all the rows have been entered. After we're done, use a right square bracket to end the matrix definition. When typing in numbers by hand, it's easy to make a mistake and accidentally put too many or too few elements in a row of the matrix. This results in a concatenation error message. Can you spot the error we made in the line of code? See if you can fix it so we don't get an error message. Then, try creating a few matrices of different dimensions on your own.